Hi everyone, this tutorial is about moving your Mac Mini's internal home folder to external SSD. Before that, let's choose the right components for this setup. And I will tell you the reasons for me to choose these specific components. First up, the enclosure. So I went with OWC Express 1M2, which is a passive cooled enclosure. So the reason for me to choose this specific enclosure is because most active cooled enclosures are bus powered, which means they draw power directly from your max Thunderbolt port. This can throttle your SSD, which can cause random disconnects, which may result in your applications to crash. Second, no noisy fans. Basically active cooled enclosures comes with a tiny fan which will rotate at very high RPM during intense use. This may result in noises like coil whining. In addition to this, these fans collect dust inside the enclosure which is harder to clean. Next, the SSD. I picked the WD SN850X which is the best WD can offer. You can go with the Samsung 990 Pro if you are into high I.O. and thermal endurance. For me, I am not maxing out these speeds and I have got the temperature under control. As you have seen in the intro, I used a dedicated PWM fan modded to run on 12V DC charger to cool my storage devices. Basically, this will be the best configuration one can pay this particular enclosure to get optimal temperatures and great performance out of it. You no need to worry about random disconnects reconnects like many users have reported on Reddit who have set up their home folder on external SSD. Last, I opted for a dedicated Intel certified Thunderbolt 5 cable for better reliability and the cable can negotiate power draw even better with Mac Mini's Thunderbolt 5 port. We will now start with the step by step process to move your home folder to external SSD. First, you need to make sure your SSD is in APFS format. As you can see, I already formatted my SSD in APFS format. For quick demonstration, I will show you how to format with my hard disk. You can right click on the storage device and select Erase. Give it your proper name. You don't want this drive to be treated as external drive as you are permanently going to connect it to the Mac. Choose APFS under Format and GUID partition map under schema and click erase. I am clicking cancel because I already formatted my main SSD in APFS format and this is just for demonstration. You have to erase this, it will take couple of seconds and your drive will be ready for moving your home folder to external SSD. Next, go to settings. And if you are already signed into your Apple account, make sure you signed out before proceeding further. After signing out, you can take a time machine backup if you want. It is not necessary, but if you already started using your Mac and you have some important files, just that you don't want to take any chances, take a time machine backup. Next, inside settings, navigate to users and groups option in the sidebar. Inside that, create a failsafe admin account. I will tell you the reason later. So since I have already created the failsafe admin account, I will quickly demonstrate you how to create. Click add user. It will ask you to enter password of your Mac, enter the password, and then you will be given option to create a user. Choose administrator privileges for the new user give name like backup admin account something like that choose same password of your main account because you are not going to use this that often so you don't want to forget this account now coming to the reason for creating this account since this account going to reside on your internal ssd 
This is just for recovery in case if your SSD went wrong. Next, log out from your main account and log in to your backup account you just have created. In this step, you are going to copy your main account's user data into your external SSD. To do that, first open Macintosh HD as well as your external SSD, both in separate Finder windows. After that, create a users folder inside your external SSD like in Macintosh HD. After creating the users folder in external SSD, navigate to users folder inside your Macintosh HD and choose the folder with your user account name. On my screen inside my internal SSD, you can see only the backup user account as I have already moved my main account to the external SSD. In your case, I will just recommend to just copy the users folder to external SSD. Do not delete the users folder inside the internal SSD yet. Next, you can log out from your backup account and log back into your main account. Now you have to go to settings. Go to users and groups and right click or control click on your main account to go to advanced options. In advanced options, go to home directory section and click on choose. Initially, your home directory is pointed out to Macintosh HD users folder. Now you have to choose the user account on your external SSD. After choosing your external SSD as new home directory, you will be prompted with a restart button. Before changing the home directory, make sure in energy section you have disabled put hard disk to sleep when possible option and low power mode option. After changing your home directory to external SSD and performing a restart, navigate to users folder on your external SSD and now it will show you a home logo on your main user folder. After making sure everything is fine, now you can go ahead and delete the user folder on your internal SSD. Don't forget to log in to the backup admin account to do that. You cannot delete the main user account which is on internal SSD while you logged into your main user account. Finally, your home directory is now on external SSD. Now you can go to settings and sign into your Apple account and use it as usual. Before concluding the video, in future after any major update, if you faced any issue with logging into your main account, you can always use your backup account as it is on your internal SSD.